Welcome back for another PyTorch video. In this short video, I want to show you how to use a learning rate scheduler to make training both easier uh, and better. So there are a bunch of different schedulers and I think all of them can be used. Uh, I'm going to show you one in this video that I think is pretty cool. And so first of all, I have some code here, some pretty basic code that's just loading a pre-trained model um, and doing some fine tuning by setting uh, yeah, so freezing some layers and we're only going to train a last layer, a linear layer. Uh, if you're unsure about how fine tuning works, you can check out my video on that. But it doesn't really matter how the code looks like. Let's just say you got some code that's working to train a neural network. So what we want to do is we want to go down to where we've created our uh, loss and the optimizer. In this case, cross entropy loss and atom optimizer. And we're going to write uh, after we've defined optimizer, we're going to create the scheduler. We're going to do optim.learningRateScheduler. Uh, and then the one we're going to use in this specific case is reduce learning rate on plateau. And we're going to send in the optimizer that we've already defined before. Uh, in this case, in the line ab above. And we're going to send in, uh, it takes another argument patience equals and we're going to set it to five and then verbose equals true so what the what this scheduler does re reduce learning rate on plateau it it looks if the loss has not decreased for a specific number of epochs in this case we have set it to five so if the loss doesn't decrease for five epochs then we're gonna lower the, the learning rate and this verbose equals true. It's just uh, it's gonna print and say we've changed the learning rate when when uh, when the scheduler decreases uh, the learning rate. So then what we're gonna do is in this specific case, it needs to take a, as input the the loss for that specific epoch. So what I've done here is I've I've calculated the mean loss for that epoch, and we're gonna do scheduler dot step we're going to send in as argument the mean loss. Okay, so pretty simple. I'm going to run the code. I'm going to pause the video until it's finished and we can see how it looks like. So I've trained the model for about 30 epochs and we can try to see how it works. Uh, one thing I wanted to add here is that uh, we can input another argument here, which is factor, uh, which is default 0.1. So this wouldn't change anything in the code. Uh, but the factor is that if it hasn't decreased for the number of epochs that we set, oh. yeah, so if it hasn't decreased for that number of epochs, then we're going to decrease um, the learning rate by the factor times uh, the original learning rate. So it's going to be one tenth of the learning rate. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, so in the beginning, it trained. Uh, for about 11 epochs and we can see here that so here the it came to 258 and then it didn't decrease didn't decrease uh, so it didn't decrease again that, that's three four five and then that's when it shows let's reduce the learning rate and then continue training and yeah this is kind of hard to tell but I guess it's five times again and then yeah, so that's how it works. One thing to keep uh, in mind is that it looks at the minimum, so like the global minimum, not the, uh, if it hasn't uh, changed the global minimum for five epochs, then it changes, um, it updates the learning rate by, by the factor times the learning rate. Yeah, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.